the SAP Fiori design guidelines are something like the holy grail of SAP Fiori development. They document down to the smallest detail how applications, following SAP's ideal ideas, should be developed. The main elements of the design guidelines are as follows. The look, feel, and wording are part of the branding of a product. Their consistent use ensures a recognition effect that should be aimed for in all apps. SAP therefore defines standards for SAP Fiori in these areas, which should be consistently adhered to. Common patterns are basic interaction patterns that should be used consistently in all SAP Fiori web applications. They cover the entire spectrum of patterns, from simple patterns for positioning actions to complex patterns for application logic, such as the draft concept and object handling. These patterns can be considered SAP best practices. They will help you especially in freestyle development of SAP UI 5 or SAP Fiori applications. If you use SAP Fiori elements, you won't have to deal with these patterns as much because they have already been incorporated into SAP Fiori elements. The SAP Fiori design guidelines also describe the available layouts and floor plans. The SAP Fiori standard layout is the dynamic page, which consists of a header, a content area, and a footer. Floor plans are usually based on this dynamic page layout. They are used to implement specific use cases, so they have a specific combination of controls in the header, content area, and footer. The SAP Fiori design guidelines provide an overview of the controls used in SAP Fiori. These range from simple to complex controls and include reuse components, intelligent controls, and controls specifically designed for assistive technologies. The following control groups are available. Simple controls are the most basic elements of the UI, for example, buttons, texts, or links. Complex controls use and encapsulate other controls themselves. For example, a toolbar contains buttons, and a smart table contains a title, toolbar, and elements. Reuse components were originally developed for a specific use case and specific industries. If you want to implement a similar scenario, you can also use these components for your application if necessary. Smart controls provide additional functionality to the standard SAP UI 5 functions, for example, support for OData metadata and annotations. Therefore, they are usually used as the basis of SAP Fiori elements. However, smart controls can also be used for normal freestyle apps. In addition, to make the applications accessible to people with disabilities, appropriate controls are provided to support appropriate assistive technologies. For the individual controls, the SAP Fiori design guidelines provide recommendations on their use. For example, suitable and unsuitable use cases are mentioned in each case. This gives you a basis for deciding when certain controls should be used and when not. In addition, all controls are shown as they will look on the different device types. SAP UI 5 categorizes the form factors of the devices for this purpose based on the display width. The following sizes are distinguished. To keep up on all things SAP, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you'll never miss out on a new video.